What up, what up? Gons here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an intro edit. Um, I'm going to use, I'm going to do an intro edit of one of my songs. Um, this can be helpful if you're trying to make more DJ friendly versions of songs to help you in your sets. Um, so let's just get right into it. Um, so typically I would go the new beat route because I'm trying to construct something from the ground up, but because we already have material, um, we're going to use this new remix section. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop one of my tracks here. No shameless promotion on here. I'm going to bring this in. And from the start, I really don't have much of like a drum intro. It just kind of goes into the track. And I kind of move this cue here to the beginning. It kind of has this going on. Now, what I want to do is I want to have a drum intro of eight bars on the front end, just because typically we have choruses and songs, um, usually hip, hip hop tracks, things of that nature that are typically eight bars. If you're into house or other electronic music, sometimes it's 16. But for this example, we're doing eight bars. And from here, it just kind of goes through the track. So I don't get to real drums till about here. So mixing wise, it can be a little difficult. So I have that. So as far as navigating around here, if you need to move things out of the way, you have these little arrows, this little area right here. So if I click on this, it moves that out the way. If I click this little down arrow, it brings that down or completely puts it into this wave editor. Right next to those arrows, we have these horizontal lines where you can click and you can really adjust to get yourself a bit more real estate, whether you want more of the song view area or you want more of the waveform here. So we got that. And also when you bring the track in, you have up to eight sections that you can create with um, hot cues or little markers for yourself. Now, typically what I'll do is I'll have the original um, here at first, cause that's what you're bringing in. And I'll, and I'll go ahead and rename this. So just kind of right click rename. I'm going to call this um, full track. Reason I do this is because I'm going to make a copy of this and do stems of this one. And I'm going to call this the intro track. You could have just called intro also if you like. So now it's an exact copy. Just remember we have solo, we have mute, so you don't run into playing both songs at the same time. So if you're moving around here, you don't want to run into this. Things are all, are all over the place. So you can just mute something if you need to or solo something. So right now we're just going to work on the intro track here. And I'm trying to go to the place that there's mainly drums. Typically, when I'm trying to make intros, I'm trying to find something that's not super busy. Because um, it might not make sense with bringing in the rest of the, the elements of the song. Like, it'll feel very kind of um, a, a weird vibe from there. So what I mean by that is I'm going to find something here. Go back to this one. Gonna find the drum. Okay, so the drums start there. So I'm gonna make a marker. Um, you could just press on this or on your keyboard. I'm hit the uh, number two. So now I have two here. You can you can zoom in, and you can move your starting point. So now I'm gonna use the stems function here to take the vocals off just to kind of test this area. Again, might take a, a second or two here for it to analyze it. They did a pretty good job right there, actually. We got a pretty clean uh, section there. If I didn't want to hear a little bit of that melody, I can just take that off too. Which 
might actually work for what we're trying to go for. Okay, so we have something there. Now, what I see people run into is where, say they made that cue here. Just remember that when you're going to bring this in, it's bringing in the whole rest of the song. As an example, I'm going to drag this in. So see how it's everything all the way across? Say you didn't want that. What you would then have to do is click on that pad and you can adjust the bracket. Just like if you were chopping a sample or things of that nature is create a section. So I'm trying to find that downbeat. So let's try to count it. Make sure I know how to count. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. That's that. So that's going to go to five. I obviously I'm trying to get to eight for this purpose. So I'm going to have to move this a little further out. So let's try this from here. Five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. Be right there. Okay, so we got that. Also, if you don't want it to move along, you can hit this little kind of snowflake option. It's literally supposed to be freezing. That's what it's for. So the waveform or the playhead doesn't kind of move along. It just stays where you need it to be. So let me count it again. Like the count. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, boom. Okay, I think we got it. So what I would then do is just take this. So see how now it's just a section, but then at the beginning there, then delete that. So now I have an intro as far as this section here. Now I still have to align this one because if I unsolo this or mute, unmute it, it's gonna sound like trash for what I'm going for. They might blend well because they're on downbeats. But it could be a little off. And that's not what I'm trying to go for. I'm just trying to have straight drum. And I forgot to mention also that you could minimize these, but also make these bigger. So if you need a bit more real estate with that, you can adjust these as well, which is what I'm going to do here because I don't really don't need this as much. Again, there's a little plus on this side. You can make this bigger as well. And here is where you could navigate through your song view as well. So there's quite a few ways to kind of move around here. So um, if you're OCD, you could just move this to the top. And so now what I'm going to do is kind of decide whether I just want to go. There we go. It's playing nice. I'm just going to go straight from these drums into no more drum into this, or if I want to go into a little further section here. So we're just going to test this out. So not quite, not quite what I wanted to go for. And also I hear a little bit of silence here. So I'm going to, going to adjust this a little bit so I can go right on the hit. Yeah. And then add a little bit of extra here. I'll put this right on that mark. Okay. So my idea, I'm probably gonna start it with this vocal coming up. Oops. So I can either keep this or I might even do the drum fill so I can kind of test things out. But what's most important is this right here is the start of the phrase, this little spot, the spot right here. So I'm going to put that on the downbeat here. 
and then just see if these things make sense here. Actually works pretty well. Um, what I could do is I can even remove part of this, but I kind of want to keep it. So I'm going to start from the beginning again, and we're kind of seeing how we're putting an actual intro together. Or say I want to omit all of this and just go into the drum fill because that'd be, you know, something I might want to try to do. I'll just leave this here. And we're straight into it. Um, and then we can test this out as far as bringing that more of the melody in and see if it makes sense with this over here. So again, you're just testing things out. That could work. That could work. So I'm going to go back and just doing it where it's just the bass and melody. So again, it's really just trying to create sections that aren't super, super busy um, for your intros. Cause you have to keep in mind, if you're going to mix this with, an, with another track, um, if you're say going to, uh, out of a chorus of another one, you already have a lot of elements there. So trying to bring this in as an intro could be um, a little busy. So um that's why I'm kind of trying it with just like the bass and the drum um, and kind of seeing what works best. Now, if I want to just hear this drum fill, I can just move this a little bit out the way right here. Now we're into that. Or I can combine them together where it's like a drum with a drum fill. There. So we have that. So now, say you wanted to make an outro. I was going to take this intro, put it near the end here. And we can just see if this makes any sense with this here. Now we have an intro and outro of this. So now if I want to save this, all I have to do is, I mean, if you can go to master, you really don't need to do much on here. I mean, you could put the limiter just a little bit just to make sure you're not in going into clipping, but it's already a master track anyways. It's just making sure that I'm not clipping here. So once I have all of that ready to go, I just go to file, which you can't completely see there. Go to file, export song. I'm going to put it as MP3 here. And the track is called, didn't let me go. If I could spell, my goodness. I'm going to call this intro, outro, edit. So now it's going to export the audio from there. Doing this in real time, so he's, just so you know. On there, so we have that. Okay, so now I have that. I'm going to go and play. Go back to my desktop and play this. So now we have our intro. And we 
have our outro. So that is one way that you can create intro edits. I mean, as well as an outro edit as well. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it, especially when you're utilizing stems to create these um, sections that can help you. So you can do it where you're doing a shorter edit where you're taking out specific things in the middle where you can just kind of keep um, more of the energy of the track without going into like long breakdowns and things like that. Um, so hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, um, feel free to comment and on the video, always here to help you guys out. And with that, you guys have fun making your edits and I'll see you next time. Peace out everybody.